so welcome back to the Space Engineers server. Now we're about to witness a battle between two of the factions, AWK and How. Both two very powerful factions on the server. Now AWK have two bases, one up in this asteroid currently located in space and one down the ground. How have split, split their resources and they've come up to space and going to be attacking the ground locations all at once. So as you can see, as we're looking around, you can see a high how ground, a typhoon. They are maneuvering pretty much into a pincer formation to try and take out this little outpost. Now, I will warn you, this outpost up here by AWK is packing some heat. So you can see it's actually tucked in the dark side of this asteroid. And we've got quite a lot of Gatling gun turrets all online, all ready to do some serious damage to them smaller fighters. And that's not all AWK have got. They've also got this much larger ship, fully armed, ready for battle. Now, there is more HAL members than AWK, but they do have the home front advantage, meaning that they've got turrets and other things to help them around the actual location. So you can see there's a few of these turrets set up on the various little outposts in crops. So if they stay within their defensive perimeter, they should be okay. Hello everyone, I'm jumping in with Hello. you to get a pre-battle little interview. Hello. What sparked this oh, conflict, shit. guys? Uh, they killed my ship. Hatred! Yeah. Hatred! Uh, Is there any tactics uh, before you go in? It looks like you're doing a bit of a pincer movement at the moment, or don't you know? Uh, right now we're scouting it out, because we know that they're on that, this asteroid, but we don't know the exact location of their base on this asteroid. Okay. It's on the back side from where we are. Well, best of luck yeah. to you. I'm going to do give them a little bit of an interview, see what's going on. Hey guys, oh. just giving you a pre-battle interview. Do you know what sparked oh. this engagement between between you and Hal? Um, well, it was actually we because of Russ along and found out our platinum asteroid. So um, I pursued him away. The sh um, auto turret started firing on his ship, and then he kind of used it as a Marco Polo bridge instant sort of thing to um, get Hal to attack us. Have you got any idea where they're going to attack? No, well, we've already picked up many of them on the local comms, so we're assuming they're setting up a forward operating base of sorts that they're going to spawn yeah. in from. Are they going to be hitting your planet base or your space base? Do you know anything got about it? Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, left side, left side. Okay, Coming right, from I'll leave the left you to side. it. See so that's a little bit of the information from both teams. AWK weren't aware and they've only just started to spot some of house ships but the issue here is that house ships are actually spread out and if they engage one at a time AWK could take them out um, and you can actually see here that AWK sneaky boys managed to get right up to one of these ships here in fact he looks like he might be even attempting to board it and he might even be aware of that himself so there we go he's on the side he's grinding down the door this might have been a little bit of a miscalculation by how, yes, they're firing a massive horde of Gatling gun fire, but he's about to breach inside the ship. I don't know what's going on, either. if he had his interior turrets unloaded or something down them lines, but he's going to get inside, and AWK might even have a house ship here on their hands. I'm not going to be able to capture what exactly is going in on inside there, but I'm sure I'll see the ship stop as things start to get a bit out of hand here. The first thing he needs to do when he's in there, though, is take out their med bay. If you can take out their med bay, let's see what's going on in here. So you can see the cockpit's going on there. First thing he needs to take out is med bay, survival kits, anything that can keep this ship going. I can't see what's going on in here, but that little breach is going to cause some serious issues. If we come over to the other side, we can see that AWK have launched one of the ships. How are maneuvering around? They're still reconning it. The only guy to actually go in here is Logogo. And with an AWK member on board, it's going to be rather interesting to see what happens here. Another AWK member is moving towards the rear of him. Looks like he's trying to disable some of his thrust. It might just be easier to get up close and grind it down at the moment. One of the members of AWK is actually getting engaged from behind by Jesse, who's trying to keep him off the rear. And it looks like Typhon is actually engaging towards as well. Now, there must be a fight breaking out in here because... Oh, it looks like Sneaky's taking him out. Oh, and if he takes out that survival kit, that's low go go down. All he needs to do now is take out these cockpit, and he'll be good to go. Right, survival kit's captured. AWK have stole one of the ships. Beautiful. He's got out of there. That ship is going to be of no use. Low go goes trying to get himself back into the cockpit, weld something up, or capture a location. 
It looks like they're all closing in on the outpost. And in fact, Typhon might be closing in a little bit too close here. Because he's going to get in range of some of their missile turrets very, very shortly. Looks like he's launching some Gatling gun fire and he's going straight into the Hornet's Nest. This might not end well for him if he's not careful here. Logogo's engaging, all the turrets are engaging. And he is getting shredded to pieces. It doesn't look like there's any backup coming in around him either. He's taking as much flak as his ship can possibly handle. And if he's not careful, he won't make it past this first strafing run. Really not going too well for Howe at the moment. Logogo's ship damaged and now Typhon's ship taking critical fire. Look at all that space debris that's just leaked out the back there. Could that cockpit be completely eliminated as the game catches back up? You can see he's continuing to drift through. I'm having a look to see if there's anything left of him. Yeah, he's still surviving in there, but it wasn't a wise move. Looks like over this side, Jesse's attempting to engage as well. He's backing off a little bit and he's putting some serious fire down onto Philippe's ship. But he's missing a lot of them shots. Shuck's still drifting about. He's travelling over to high ground ship. Let's have a look at that. So high ground's in one of the larger Gatling gun type vessels. You can see the quad Gatling gun sort of rotor cannons. And on top, this is probably the biggest firepower, firepower they bring into this party. So after that previous little bit of conversation... We've got Howe hitting the outpost once again. They've sent a few Hydrium men to soften up some of the turrets. And AWK are coming out trying to cause some trouble. But Shuck and the other ships now are getting closer. And they are opening fire with the ultimate level of firepower. All them Gatling guns firing at once is extremely extreme. It can burn through so much ammunition. And you've got to be bloody careful with how much you're firing there. Some of the turrets are opening up on the top. And they are shredding into this particular ship. Just look at the amount of damage that's being done to it. It can't put up with much of this. That ship needs to get out of there and manoeuvre itself. What are the AWK boys doing? It looks like some of the AWK guys have got distracted by the Hydrogen men. And they are not manning their ships on the defences. We've got Logogo off there, back in space. Where are the rest of the guys gone? What is the strategy in this situation? So battles are fought for a long time in Space Engineers. How have now broke through the main perimeter. Like I said before, they lost this ship of Shucks and the rotation of it has started stopping. So what's going to happen here is the turrets will actually be able to hit them decoys and take it out. And that will be the last bit of protection that How have. The only thing remaining of How's smaller fleet at the minute is their main battleship. Come on game, catch up. Oh god. There we go. So you can see the whole pod has now been destroyed in that little bit of a catch up. That means the majority of the fire from the outpost, if it hasn't been taken... Oh! I know what's just happened there. Have we had an infiltration? Has someone managed to get a warhead in here? Could be possible. That could just be a hydrogen tank exploding as well. I think it was the second option, a hydrogen tank explosion. So that turret's been cut off. It's very interesting that they decided to build the turrets on top of the hydrogen tanks. It's not a super safe thing to do. Now let's have a quick look at the ship here. Typhon and Shucker aboard it. Putting massive volleys of suppressive fire down on this outpost. There's not too much left going on here. I can't actually see any of the AWK guys in the area. Let's have a quick look. Oh, hang on. Hey, I'm back. What's uh, that? Yeah, yeah, we've had to pull out the space base from discovering that um, our main base is under attack. Your main base is under attack as well, so you pulled out of that one. Yeah. yeah. We've got enough platinum already at the main base, so we don't need to worry about that loss. Okay. Are we going to lose the main base? <laughs> Not if we have anything to say about it. So I've headed down to the planet, and as you just heard, AWK have been involved in a two-prong attack. Faz and we've got T-Man here. We've also got Riku. We've also got the other ship that looks like it's built on the same sort of premise of the space one to distract turret-based fire. Now, while the distraction in space was going on, they have managed to down one of their half-built ships of AWK and they have breached into AWK's facility. We saw this in a review earlier in the week. And as you can tell, they have worked their main well, the way into the main part of this facility. And if we have a look here, you can see Farmer John is still in the cockpit trying to do some damage. AWK uh, Philippe's down there. We've got some of the other ships operational. And you can see they're trying to breach into the hangar. 
see this looks like it might even be a two-pronged attack from two factions down here. A lot of people want AWK dead, and they are holding the fact that well, holding the hangar with pretty much everything they've got. You can see as they spawn back in from the emergency med bays, they're rushing to get ships operational. And you can see they've even got some little notes up there saying what they need to get. But now that they're inside here, the only thing they can really do is find some way of stopping the attackers. Either hitting them from the flank, stopping whatever respawn they've got in the right. But it's, got, it's going to be very difficult for them. You can also see that we've got some other HAL members that have now come down and have started to breach in through the tunnel. Heno is still holding the line. He's just waiting for another hole to appear. And when that hole appears, they're going to be in some serious trouble. But what I can see here is that the hangar door is opening up. Now, have they opened this on purpose? Is Heno going to try to make an escape? Or is that something Farmer John's done to get a little bit more firepower in there? Yep, it looks like they've lowered the gate to destroy Farmer John's ship. They're also installing some rapid turrets at the same time, trying to hold that med bay room. It's, it's not looking good for AWK. But still, they're putting up a fight with everything they've got. They've got some interior turrets. They've got breaches through these various sort of keyholes. This is almost like turning into Rainbow Six Siege with these tiny little holes as they decide to destroy the turrets through them. So Heno's back over here. He's holding the entrance. He's not trying to flee. And I won't recommend trying to flee either because there's two big ships watching the entrance. So as they breached out there, he's returning some fire at them. Stone's popping in and out of cover. Conrad's back up in that section. But the amount of fire from them Gatling guns is keeping them, well, just well within the stone wall. Let's have a quick check of the entrance see if they're bringing anything back as reinforcements. It looks like Faz is trying to bring one of the larger ships in here. This might be a bit of a mistake. He's not going to have a super amount of maneuverability. But if he brings it into this hangar successfully and use that to challenge Heno, then it's going to be super exciting indeed. Comrade and Stone still holding the wall. The other members of AWK are fitting some turrets. A lot of them are offline. There's about four online compared to the five or six of the Howe crew. Heno's still holding the front line. Faz is bringing it down the hangar shaft. This is a big ship. Will it be able to make that corner? Bloody hope it can. But at the same time, it... oh god, what's, what's Philippe doing here? He looks like he's trying to take off a miner. We've got some explosions going on in the rest of the facility. Not too sure what's happening here. It looks like an explosive breach from the top might be occurring, or an explosion of a ship that tried to climb at high altitude. So Faz is now trying to maneuver the ship through the corridor. AWK are blocking the corridor up with a miner. That might be the idea. But Faz is now open fire on Heno. This is the situation that we didn't want to see occur. Faz is jammed around the corner though, and because of that, he's not able to get as many of his guns on target. He is getting shredded to pieces, this battle in this corridor. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like Heno from this connection issue is he's still supporting. He's still holding that corner really well. Oh, not anymore, though. He's been blasted back to the Stone Age. Looks like he's still got a little bit of firepower and a bit of control. But for the majority of it, Faz has now breached into that corridor. And he's pushing hard, pushing past that miner. If they can get into the main room, they'll have a bit more maneuverability with that ship. He's still trying to fight it out. That looks like it might be the end of Heno, though. He's lost control by the look of it. He's out in that cockpit, and it's moving towards Faz. Uh, Everything has been straight apart now. They might do one last successful round with his corpse. Well done. They held that hangar for a bloody long time. They're taking out a lot of their power sources. The idea here might be to cut the power off, completely destroy these shafts that they've got going in there. What a mess. What an absolute mess this base is becoming. AWK are going to have nothing left. All this that they're trying to build is just falling apart underneath them. They have got some spare fighters over here if they could get to them, but it looks like they've really got a problem here with the bottleneck that they've built themselves into this little respawn bay. You can see the HAL members have pushed up now to their respawn bay. Let's have a quick look in here. So yeah, it looks like they haven't built, from what I can tell, any access apart from this tunnel over to this side. And the problem that we're getting here is they are not moving through trying to get them ships operational because there's plenty of fighters that they've got to defend themselves, but they just have a ton of vision over here. So you can 
can see how I've now just got them pinned into here. AWK have pushed them back off the entrance. We've also got that really nasty turret there doing in whoever attempts to come over the top of it. What a mess. Looks like we've got the Philippe's coming around the back there. So this base, I'd say it's fallen, but they're still putting up the fight for this last bit, and this might deter how, but at the same time, it might convince them to continue to come in further. They're taking all of their power offline. We've just got wreck after wreck appearing at the bottom of this tunnel. We've got some more power sources over here and another shaft over here as well, but it's really not looking good for them. If the power goes off, the med bay goes off, and it is pretty much game over from then as well. It looks like they're moving around the flank. They're trying to get into this area of the hangar. I'm still quite frustrated that the AWK lot haven't got the rest of these fighters operational. Maybe they're out of fuel, maybe they're not powered, they're not armed and equipped. There could be many reasons why they're not getting into the action. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, you can see they're trapped in the med bay now. They've got one door, one access point, and there's no, it's a dead end. It's a med bay, when you do a med bay room like this, you always need alternative access points. And you can see what's going on here is they're connecting, cutting off power, power grinding away at that component and they have now found a weak spot the weak spot being the back of that med bay and you can see they're preparing to breach this is going to be AWK's last moment once that breach opens there's really not too much they can do you can literally stand there and fight there we go any second we're going to have a lot of angry HAL members in here Oh, he's shooting through it. He's actually damaging his own block. And it looks like AWK are holding the respawn room with everything they've got. Grinders, assault rifles. In fact, one of them's broke through. <laughs> one of them's actually grinded down their own med bay. I don't know the purpose of that. Actually, it could have been a helmet. But yeah, there is their med bay destroyed. AWK members, that's pretty much all they've got left. Two of them hiding back here. One of them's falling. It's the last stand. And there we go. He's getting shot in the back. He's trying his best to hold it on, Philippe. Go on, Philippe. Take him out. Come on. We can do it. He's shooting through that horrible little gap up there. Conrad is trying to engage him back. Every time Conrad pops his head up, Philippe's taking the shots. There's still a turret in here. Maybe you could hide behind. But they're going to start coming in from either side in a moment. This is it. Once they get inside the base and they start grinding away at the various different components, everything starts falling apart. And the rewards to how for taking this outpost out are going to be quite immense. Let's actually have a look through here. And it looks like Faz has managed to breach with his big ship. And he's firing shots directly down the corridor into their med bay room. Oh god, it's absolutely brutal. Calm. These offline players never saw it coming. Has Philippe tried to flee? I'm not seeing his body. No, Philippe's trying to take cover behind the last med bay. His, his exit looks like it's been blocked now. There is nowhere to hide for him. Just bodies of AFK players. Uh oh, there's his cover. Uh oh, really not the cover. Conrad's dropping in from above. And there he is. He's out of there. Faz with that firepower, eh? Shredding through that corridor. Absolute beautiful fight. Now, I will say, you know, it was not fair. We're going to say that. They had more members. Of course, they were going to win. Um, but a two pronged attack like that, well organized, well coordinated. See, comrades even started to grind down some of the ships now. How have got themselves a very nice facility if they want to capture it here, or alternatively, they can scrap as much as they can and then they'll be going off. But us and the moderators definitely have a big job on our hands cleaning this mess up. When they started cutting out the firepower, well, the sort of power like that. It's a lot of work for us to do. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. How I've managed to take over both AWK's space outpost and the ground outpost in one really thorough sort of sweep. You can see that they're actually bringing in some other ships through here. All being launched from a nice selection of carriers and whatnot on the outside. A lovely battle. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section. Do you think AWK could have held out or do you think they were always doomed from the start with this many members going on at them at once?